Hey everybody, I got the wrong hat on. Let's fix the hat situation and let's make sure we are good to go. Boy, oh boy. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Is It A Buy where we talk about stocks and try to determine if they are worth a buy or maybe a pass. My name is Corey. I just like to preface the video by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who likes to talk about stocks. So please take what I say with a grain of salt. I am so sorry I'm late, everybody. What a crazy traffic. They're like rebuilding the road. It's like a four lane down to a, a two lane, essentially, for like one way traffic. And they're like repaving the whole road. And it was a absolute, excuse me, nightmare. Um, but we're here. We're going to do fantastic things today. Uh, thank you all for kind of bearing with me right here. Um, but we're going to make it happen. Let's see what happened today. Then we'll catch up on the chat. We'll see how everybody's doing. And we will uh, we'll make sure that, you know, everything's going well. Everything is going well. Uh, so let's take a look at good old. I don't know why IMAX in here and why GameStop is not at the top of this list. So AMC. OK, well, I guess we'll start with AMC and then we'll look at GameStop. So. AMC, let's look at the one day. What what happened today? Today it didn't it didn't really move. <laughs> it really didn't move. Um all right, so that's that's what we have there. AMC, not much movement down barely in the pre in the after hours. Wouldn't really count as anything crazy. Some interesting cells going on over here uh in this this after hours as you can see like at 2,000 shares over here at $10.35, uh, 1,600 at 10.38, and then 5,000 at 10.45. So uh, very interesting to see this going on. Pretty, pretty curious. Let's take a look at GameStop. Let me remove this so that it can go to the very, very top. And we can take a look. GameStop, not a bad day. Up 7% on the day, up 0.38% in the after hours. I will take it. I will absolutely take it. Pretty interesting spike in the morning. My goodness. Uh, low of 182, high of 204. I had to turn off my notifications because in the morning I kept getting Weeble notifications uh, every minute. And so if you do have notifications on Weeble, I just be super cautious because, uh, man, this will let me let me show you my alerts. Do I do create alert? And then I guess I'll just erase this one. I'm sure there's a better way to do that. But uh, I had it at 200 and it's and you can set it like unlimited. And so anytime it teeters up and down, it'll continue, continue, continue uh, to do that. So uh, we'll, we'll have to see. As for um, uh, as for what else? Yeah, and you, but I, so I change it to once per minute. That really helps uh, with getting notifications. I wouldn't recommend it limited um, at all. I would recommend once per minute, uh, maybe once per day if it's you know a big drop or big something. But uh, just in case you have Weeble, I, just be very careful with the unlimited because it really will send it to you an unlimited amount. Uh, let me say hi to the chat really quick. See what's going on. Damon was first in the chat to say something. Uh, so that's that. What's up, Lee? Um, Johnson, what's up, Cash C? How's it going, Eddie? What's up? What's up? Uh, Johnson was ready. The second person hit that like button. I love it so much. My monitor did the same thing it always does. This is unfortunate. Um, but let's see. Uh, that's just the the name of the game today. You know, let's throw some obstacles. But you know what? I am gonna be a okay. I'm not gonna let it bring me down. I'm not going to let it mess up my mood. I'm just going to keep on rolling with the flow. OK, <laughs> man, uh, I boy, oh boy, it is going to be a OK, everybody. Nobody panic. <laughs> it's it's just fine. Uh, we're going to be cool. I will say. There's been a lot of uh, obstacles, but you know what, guys? No worries. No worries. Just fixing everything up, making sure everything is going to be working properly. We don't have any weird hiccups and we are good. 
All right, all right, back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, let's go back to the chat, just say hi to a few more people, and then let's look at some stocks. I'm super excited to, to look at some stocks and, and kind of uh, talk about what's going on. I have a, 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 an announcement that I'm excited to make, and so uh, I'll be making it here in just a moment, uh, and, and we'll see what's up. Uh, let's see, Trody, welcome, welcome. I, I just got home from a friend's house. It's kind of late here, and I was just about to check if Corey was streaming, and boom, we have the perfectly timed stream. Yes, again, so sorry I'm running behind, guys. It was, you know, I, I don't like to to make excuses, so I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna apologize. Uh, Javi Air, what is up, my friend? Uh, Eric says, Corey, how are you doing? AMC traded sideways again, but I made big money with HPR short squeeze. Oh man. Eric making money, HPR. Let's see. Oh, I missed this one today. I did not see that. Man, I hope, did you, uh, where'd you get out, Eric? Did you get out over here at the top? That'd be fantastic. That'd be a nice little move for you, huh? From four, bottom of 420 to 899. Boy, oh boy. What's up, Bobby? No excuses. Oh, I'm with you, Lee. Oh, gosh. Uh, Jamie, checking in. Close my position on Riot and switch back to Mara. Check out that beautiful chart. Ooh, I am excited to check out this chart. Um, Mara. I was making sure I didn't ignore you, Eric. Uh, everything's fantastic, my friend. Uh, so Mara, beautiful chart, up 15% on the day. And, you know, this is one of those these uh, these stocks that I feel like is going to be a good one. It had a nice little run up, kind of consolidated here. So hopefully, if, if people were bullish on this, hopefully they bought around here. Um, and so hopefully we're we're out of this kind of market correction. And this is something that I I I, I think it's over this market correction. Um, I really didn't see it coming to be honest. I, I kind of see it coming for some of these other stocks. Um, what is the what is the stock? Like the um, cruise lines. I feel like there's and there might be another correction for the cruise lines. Uh, but hey, very very interesting. Um, also GME to the moon, what's going up? Can you, can you check AQB? Yeah, I'd be happy to a DSA. Let's check AQB. Um, Scotty, do you know Julie, uh, personally, because there are some people who are the same little click of people that they keep asking me to make specific videos of, of, of ones that aren't really popular. And I'm, I'm a little curious about what, what that's about a little curious. um aqb what do these guys do aqua bounty technologies interesting that it's aqua bounty um maybe that's aqua is irrelevant maybe aqua for like life or something uh but like a water-based like life anyways um let's see it is engaged in research development and commercialization of the commercial viability of a group of proteins antifreeze proteins Antifreeze proteins. Interesting. Uh, the company focuses on the, uh, managing on the managing aquaculture. There's aqua uh, pro productivity. It offers a a a advantage salmon. So AAS, um, which can be grown in la land based facilities. It it offers AAS for land based facilities that can be built closer to consumers to manage the need for air freight shipping. Oh, and transportation. Very interesting. Aqua, uh, Aqua Bounty offers disease-free, antibiotic-free salmon in land-based recirculating aquaculture systems, uh, offering a reduced carbon footprint and no risk of pollution uh, of marine ecosystem as compared to traditional sea cage farming. Hey, that's actually very interesting. You know, I, I haven't really thought about this, but I wonder what the future of, of farming, you know, I suppose you could say this is, is going to um, is gonna look like. As, as we know, if you know anything about, I really don't know too much about farming or or anything like that. But from my understanding of it, um, farms like uh, cattle farming and stuff like that takes up a lot of resource, a lot of land, a lot of um, pollution. And I'm not sure what really causes the pollution. But from my understanding, it's, it's really not a good um, green model, which is kind of interesting that but again, I don't fully understand that. So um, this is an, I, I also like the logistics part of it, you know, instead of them having instead of you having to work out like this crazy logistics nightmare or something, you can deliver it faster um, and it'll be fresh, not frozen. Although there is there are, are two, excuse me, schools of thought between frozen and fresh fish. Um, one being that you freeze it and it's fine. 
some of the people who who create like the best sushi in the world who are like in like Okinawa, like Japan, um, some of them have no, they don't even mind using, uh, it doesn't have to be day old fresh. Some people, they, so uh, I've seen a few documentaries and the people that I see, uh, they say this. So, um, and you know, there are things to consider like, you know, does the taste, how does it taste? Does it feel the same? Uh, so different, a few different things. I, I'm, this is actually pretty cool. I never even thought about this kind of stuff. And um, here you have it, you know, more sustainable. I mean, maybe it's more sustainable. It could be a bunch of different things, uh, especially if you have these different farms. So uh, very, very cool stuff. Let's see what their financials look like. So uh, gross profit profit over the past since 2017 um, has been going into the negatives, but it's going in. It's been going into the negatives a lot, which I'm I'm okay with. And the reason I'm okay with this is because they're probably investing in themselves, expansion, marketing. You know all this growth. I, I think that this is probably a good thing. And so just because you see negative profits d doesn't mean it's bad. We saw, man, which company was it? We saw a company yesterday that they were negative, uh, or they weren't negative, but maybe they were, they weren't really positive very much. And then they had a huge boom, and it was kind of the COVID thing. And now you never know whenever the president or somebody is going to uh, enact some kind of like, for example, the chip shortage. I, I recently did the video on the chip shortage and um, we saw that uh, they were giving like stimulus or, or, or not a stimulus, I suppose. But uh, I think there was like tax breaks and a big bill that they're going to pay for all this stuff for like to help create chips and stuff, uh, whatever it was that. So you never know when something like that's going to happen for green farming, green, whatever. Okay. Institutional ownership, 47.61%. Uh, these people were listed on, in 2014. So, hey, this is this is pretty good. You know, this tells me that they think something's going to happen. BlackRock and Vanguard in there. I feel like these guys are just, I wonder how much money these guys have. Because they're usually at the top of the list. Um, and look, BlackRock or Vanguard over here has a 35%. Oh, no, no. Okay, percentage owned is 2%, but still, like, I'm sure, the, I, I'd be curious to know how much money these guys have, like, how many billions of dollars uh, these companies have, because it's just insane how many different stocks they're in, they're, you know, institutional ownership they're in. Uh, so it looks like here, the analysts are all saying about $15 per share. Not bad. I wonder what kind of news has been uh, going on. Um very very interesting let's take a look at them in the chart setup let's look at the six month see what's been going on hey not bad okay so good little run up here and let's see this is at the so it started around december we'll say december of last year ran and then we did see this correction kind of and we're also we're seeing this kind of a uh double bottom i suppose you would say uh here in all the stocks so the question is did it find a bottom if it did find a bottom this could be a great way for us to start um going up you know this is this could be a great entry point now the question is where do you think the stock is going to be in you know a year or how, however long you want to be um on it i think that this is kind of the future this could be a really really great place to get them on the bottom floor but you know who are their competitors what is, what are the benefits and well and it did talk about some of the benefits versus uh you know benefits of doing this uh, are there disadvantages you know um a lot of different questions to ask but i i this is pretty great you know this this could be a very 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 good long term stock uh but uh you know just make sure you can answer some of the questions um okay i'm super behind on this chat so i'm just going to uh try to catch up a little bit whoever said hi hello bobby i see you my friend i'm going to go through this uh a little bit weebo notifications are crazy olive you're 100% right yeah it gets it gets pretty crazy in here i want to see Corey do a deep dive see see this is a uh, this is an interesting one. The NNDM crew. Very interesting. I don't need notifications because I never close the app. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Hello, gang. We have them on the ropes. Big things are on the horizon. Jamie, I did see the Uncle Bruce. I think Uncle Bruce made another video this morning about or released it last night or this morning about what he talked about, about the Archegos, Um basically margin call that happened very interesting stuff and you know what guys if you were here yesterday you remembered we talked about um viacom cbs we talked about viacom cbs right and you know what we didn't talk about that actually happened i was so mad is it this one no 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 wrong one discover is it uh it's actually should be here in the tops tops of the top gainers of the day 
Oh, I just I had seen it. it was Discovery, and I was so mad. I was like, you know what? This is the other stock, I think. Hmm. Discovery? Oh, maybe I'm confused. Hmm. Okay, maybe I was confused. Because there was a Discovery one that was on the top of the day today, but I'm not seeing it here right now. Anyways, uh, I, I have been keeping an eye on... Oh my gosh, where'd it go? It was a uh, Viacom. I've been keeping an eye on Viacom. Very curious to know what's going to happen with this uh, stock. I feel like... Actually, wait a second. I... I, I... <sighs> okay, you know what I said I wasn't going to do? I said I wasn't going to um, play short-term options anymore. Oh, did I? Okay, I can't recall. I either purchased options on this or I purchased uh, two shares. Okay, actually, I think I should be able to unlock it and see what I got. Oh, gosh, what did I buy? I bought a call. Yeah, guys, I, I broke my... I said what I wasn't going to do. I bought a call. I'm down 50% on my call. And we will see if I regret this decision. But you know what? Scared money don't make no money. Um, and we will see how this ends. My call is... Uh, let's see. It's a $50 strike expiring on the first. So I have a few days for this one. Uh, we are going to have to see, um, Bobby, I do like personally, I, I do like the stock long term. Um, I don't know how to get out of my, oh, okay. I got to close this. Oh, wow. I really messed it up. I do like the stock stock long term. I feel like it's going to be going good. Remember this, this company isn't bad. It's, it's not like it's not like this is just incorrect information. You know what I mean? My in my opinion, this was a good stock. But remember, those guys had to they were forced to close out of their positions. They had to liquidate their account in order to get everyone out. Um, and so because they had to liquidate their account, they they sold out. And so I'm sure that triggered stop losses and everything doesn't mean the stock isn't worth this amount. It means that a huge person pulled out. And so that's why I did get this call. I, I was kind of thinking that Wall Street bets or somebody was going to buy into this. Um, I, it still can happen. It's it's very possible that this can happen. But uh, I'm I'm waiting for it. it. Looks like we're consolidating down here. That's why that's why I bought it. I was like, you know what? Uh, like here, this didn't consult. This this is much shorter than this. So I feel like it's pretty good. And that's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, you know what? This stock isn't bad. All of a sudden, it's not like they're. They, I'm sure they didn't want to sell sell out of this position. Now I wonder if they chose to sell out of this position instead of um. I wonder if they chose this position instead of another stock to liquidate so that that might be a thing but uh i still feel like this like this was just such solid growth and unfortunately you know whatever happened happened and so uh we shall see but i, I feel good about this one yeah it has been mentioned on wall street bed so so we'll see if, if people buy into it but uh you know we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to see score having it Oh yeah, yeah. This is a this is a, is it a buy hat? I've had this hat for like weeks. <laughs> no one noticed. No one noticed that I switched my hat. Um, but it's all right. It makes me feel cool. Uh, what's up, Erica? Welcome, welcome, my friend. Uh, Muhammad, what's up? What's up, man? I'm, I'm sorry I missed some of you guys. Uh, I didn't get to say bye. All right, I didn't say hi. <laughs> I sold Mara today. Oh, interesting. Um, Insider, why did you sell uh, Mara? So many questions. Um, I really like that stock. I wasn't. I'm surprised. I guess it depends on when you got in. Maybe maybe you cut a loss or something. But I feel like it'd probably be pretty good. Um, um, Bobby, are you asking how to buy a uh, oh buy a call? The only thing about this call. Well, here's why I bought this call so close, and I, I broke my rule because I wanted to get one. Or did you say for a hundred dollars? Okay, I lost where your message was. Oh, okay. Uh, a ninety dollars drop. Okay, so that's a good point. So I had a hundred dollars in this account that was just sitting there, and I was like, you know what? I'm either I, I got to use it, and I didn't. I really, really did not have to use it. I decided I was just gonna use it, and the reason I got this call is because it was I could purchase two options at like this exact strike price, and it just kind of worked out. The math just kind of worked out that way. Um, I am very scared i'm gonna lose everything but you know what 
Uh, I wanted to just try it. We'll see what happens. But yes, you can definitely buy a call all the way out here. And, you know, you don't have, you can get it a little bit out of the money, but granted, you know, if even if you get it at 50 bucks or I, I guess you said 90 bucks, so if you get it at 90 bucks, hey, it's 160, you know, uh, and so the question is, will it hit that by then? And so that's a it's like eight months and eight, eight months ago, this stock was around what would eight months be? Oh, gosh. So, hey, you know what? That's actually very possible that you could get that, especially since it's only down here and this was not eight months ago. So, uh you could definitely it's just, this move this much in a month so it's very possible that it will move that much again and get in there uh and that's that you would buy a limited edition is it a buy hat <laughs> you guys want is it a buy merch um you know i may look into merch hmm okay okay i, I have an idea so i'm gonna i'm gonna let this let this fester for a second i think that I have a few ideas. I'm going to write it down separately, uh, and then I'm going to let you guys know what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe next stream or something. If you were a... What am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Aha, I know what to do. Great. Okay, I wrote that down. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this plays out. I have, a, I have a pretty cool idea. So let me ask answer this one question. I saw one. Yes, will this 100% the bank force a total liquidation? Now, my question, my I guess my question though is, did they force it on this specific stock? Um, or, you know, I really don't know how the bank liquidation works whenever they force it. Um, and Oh, I guess if they were short on this position or something, okay, I, I'm really not too sure uh, about exactly how that liquidation worked, but uh, we'll have to see. But thank you, thank you all. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see about doing these uh, these things. Uh, it'll be pretty cool. Now, I saw a question from Jamie. Jamie said, "Yes, do I have a take on DKNG? I okay, I like the stock right now." I think that that is a great play. I think it's a long-term play. And that might be one of those plays. It's a buy the hype, sell the news type play, okay? So let's take a look. DKNG. And the, the reason I'm waiting on it, oh, this is such a, in my, excuse me, in my, in my opinion, this is such a great pullback too. It's a, I think, that, oh man, I think it's an excellent, excellent place to buy the stock. I might pull back a little bit to like, 50 bucks or I mean like 59 bucks, 60 bucks, but you know what? $61, I think is a totally reasonable price. Um, especially if it continues to run, I, I would not be scared about purchasing around this area, not financial advice, to anybody, but personal thoughts. I like this. And I'll tell you why, because one day there's going to be a, there's going to be a news article or something that's going to say, you know, Biden considers, you know, Biden mentioned, making gambling illegal or, or illegal, like, you know, something weird like that. There's going to be some kind of hype play, hype, hype thing. And this stock is going to skyrocket. And I like this stock because while I haven't done a lot of research on like the gambling stocks and stuff like this, I, everyone knows about this one as the gambling. And so I feel like this is going to be a great play. I think it's going to, I think it's going to print. Um, and so this is one of those granted it's, it's just, it's just a, I think it's going to be a longer play. And hey, you know what? It's been going up for a good amount of time. I mean, this was in, this is some solid growth, $34 to $74. Uh, and then let's look at it on the one year. Look at this growth. I mean, $11 to $74 in one year. What a play, you know? And I think this is going to continue. Uh, the only thing is, is when is that news going to be announced? When is, when is something like this going to happen? But uh, I do like this. I could rock that hat. Man, you guys are hyping me up with this hat. You guys are you guys are really hyping me up. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna make some hats. You guys, you want it, you got it. Uh and this is cool. This is like this is like a stitched in and stuff. It's pretty legit. And this is why so I wanted to try to um I wanted it, I wanted it to be good quality. I don't want to give you guys some crappy quality. Like the shirts I had made, I have some shirts made too, and they're like printed on and, and they're they're bad. I would not like want anybody to wear those shirts. They're great because they're kind of branded. They're super comfortable, but they're uh they're not the quality that I, I would want to give you guys. So um so that's that. Man, okay, hats, hats. Um, I love it.
gloves with diamonds in the palms. You guys are crazy. Uh, hey, no problem, Jamie. No problem, my friend. At the Lee. <laughs> Bro, what? Uh, so uh, that is that. Um, oh, okay. My my uh, news. So let me tell you guys something. Um, I, I actually, I spoke with my, um, you know, my like bosses and stuff. Uh, but I, uh, I, t I was like, basically long story short, I'm, I'm going to start streaming in the morning from, uh, 30 minutes before the bell all the way to 30 minutes after the bell. So for an hour in the mornings, um, probably starting Thursday, I'm going to be doing one hour. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to start doing that in the morning. It's going to be, it's going to be wild because like, I'm going <laughs> to, it's going to be wild. Uh, what's up trade? What's up sky? Welcome my friends. Um, and so, yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. Um, hopefully people will be able to attend that. I don't know how that's going to work out, but you know what? Um, I, I have to put in the hours. I have to put in the work. Like I can't just, it's not going to, it's not going to come to me. So I'm going to continue to, um, to do that. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I, I think it'll be great. Uh, I'm not sure how many people will be able to see in the morning, but uh, we're going to we're going to make it happen. Yes, the market is closed Friday. Oh, I don't know about Monday. Oh, anyone know if the clock if, if it's closed um, Mondays? Yeah, breakfast with Corey. Yeah, it's going to man. It's going to be wild. So I'm going to go. I'm going to wake up, get dressed, stream, go to work, come home, stream, go to bed and do it all over again. So boy, oh boy. The only thing is it's gonna kind of eat into like my video making time. So I'm gonna have to think about exactly how I wanna do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to really think about something, uh, something to to make it work, but we'll have to see. Uh, will that cake from yesterday be available as merch? Man, that cake was so good. That, it take, that cake was so, so good. Uh, so yeah, that is my uh, my news. It will be open on Monday. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you guys. Uh, Friday's closed. Monday's open. Great questions. Close for Good Friday. Right, right. And uh, a lot of the brokerages on my Weeble they gave me a notification saying uh, it was it was uh, it was closed. So uh, so that is that. Um, awesome. 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 Um, okay, let's see what else is going on, guys. I'm very, very excited to to get this going. Uh, let's see. So we have we have these stocks. Um, what other stocks do you guys want me to take a look at? I know someone had a stock, uh, and I wanna I wanna continue uh to make it happen. Just keep it going. Eddie, Eddie says we gotta get his subs so we don't <laughs> work him to death. Like and share, guys. Thank you, Eddie. My uh I think it'll be fine. The only thing I worry about is like going too hard and get like sick or something. But you know what? <laughs> That's a chance we have to take. Uh, Olive Cheeto man with the super chat. Thank you, my friend. Cheese wheel. Oh gosh, here we go again. The cheese wheel, guys. I don't know what is is up with this cheese wheel. I don't know anything about this. Uh, just promise me in the morning to tell me if the stock is a buy. Uh, you got it, Starfish. I heard something about Easter Monday, but we'll see you notice for Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we shall see. Let's take a look at um, Hearst. You were here. CDEV. Centennial. Um, what is it? Resources? Yeah. Centennial Resource Development. Okay. That's what they do. Um, they're an independent oil and natural gas company. The company is focused on uh, the development of unconventional oil and associated liquids rich natural gas reserves in the per permian uh, basin the company's assets are all are concentrated in the delaware okay so uh, where they they basically um getting these these uh these things uh i think it's pretty straightforward right let me make sure i'm not missing anything yeah oil um oil and gas okay so pretty straightforward the only thing about about these stocks is i'm really not so educated on exactly what's happening with you know, oil and gas. I don't know what the future holds for them. And what I mean by this is they're going to be around for a long time, right? But, and, you know, let's say five years, but what, what, 
what about 10 years? Okay, let's say 10 years in the, well, you know, and again, are we investing for 10 years? Are we investing for five years? Are we investing for, there's a lot of different questions about that, but I, I do want you to be able to just think about that, you know? A lot of people are trying to go electric, electric vehicles. We did see that crazy company yesterday that we're going to look at again today, uh, WATT, with the wireless charging stuff. That was just, that absolutely blew my mind. I sat here and just did like some research, just looking at this stuff because it was so crazy. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, so those are questions that you need to ask yourself. What's going to happen in the future? What What is the future of this stuff? So income statement let's see what has been going on annually for the company uh looks like the gross profit has been uh pretty pretty consistent kind of increasing so in 2017 it was like 365 million then it went all the way to 751 million then down to 735 million 2020 was rough you know 2020 was rough for a lot of people uh this this being one of the to me industries i guess um with not many people traveling, so maybe oil and gas and blah, 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 the whole, the whole thing that trickled. But we can see here they were around 431 million. So down almost, almost 50% uh, for the, from last year. So institutional ownership is 73.21%. What I would recommend doing is seeing what people are, um, people are saying, see what people are saying for, uh, <laughs> I see, so, hey, Ryan, I uh, see, see what people are saying are doing with this company are people buying in or are they selling off you know see what the institutional investors are doing because remember these guys play for the long term if people are still buying into this company i think this could be a good stock if they're not continuing to buy in then maybe it's not the best best stock out there for you um but you know of course make sure you're always doing your own research make sure that you know obviously this is not financial advice just make sure you're doing what is best uh, for you Take a look at the analysts. The analysts are saying about $7.50 as the high, a low of $1, and it looks like they're close to the average of, and they're saying the average is going to be $4.34. Again, take, always take the analyst rating with a grain of salt. We never which, know which way they're actually trying to go. And now let's take a look at this on the, let's look six months, a little more macroscopically. And as we can see, a nice little run up, and then they they did pull back a, a, an okay amount. Um, you know, and, and now the question is, is have they found a bottom? Are they going to, are they going to continue to consolidate? And now this is one of those things where I do my kind of, you know, just think about it logically. What is going to happen with the economy opening? More people are going to be driving. We're going to need more oil. We're going to need more gas. Or is there a, like a reserve of oil and gas that had already been produced? And now we're going to have to run through that and run through this. Um, is there going to be, you know, is there going to be something similar to the, um, uh, to the chip shortage, uh, you know, where, they stopped producing because no one was using it. So now they're going to have to play catch up and there's going to be huge demand. So questions that you want to make sure you're answering for yourself. Uh, you're not going to get me today, Lee. <laughs> Ryan says, Corey, what do you think about Volkswagen changing their way to Volkswagen? Uh, you know, that is, a. <laughs> uh, you know, you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, let's take a look. CSCW. I'm seeing a lot of CSCW in here. Color star technology. Boy, oh boy. All right. What are these guys doing? So they are a oh education services. I, I like education. Oh, wait a second. This is kind of similar to we've we've kind of covered this one before. They have software as a service system um, and education planning through its own wholly owned subsidiary. And we pulled this website up before. And uh, this is my famous example that I oh, wait, what is happening? Wait, is this combined? CSCW. Why is it bringing me to this site? CSCW. China ACM. Okay, I guess this isn't the right the right website, but uh, let me see if we can look up Color Star Technology. Okay, you know what? I'm not seeing it here. We did we did look at this before. Essentially, what's happening with this one is. 
Uh, this one they do uh, artificial. Now, what I haven't been able to find out, and then again, I haven't really been able to look, is they're, what they're doing with the artificial intelligence and the robotic, robotic technologies. For all we know, uh, the robotic technologies is something as simple as like a toy that <laughs> is robotic. So maybe it's more advanced, but you know, you're talking about children and stuff and early childhood education. So I don't really know what they're doing there. But as far as the AI, I wonder if that is included in there. If they're doing something with that for either learning, like for example, they could see, oh, like if it's a, some kind of software where they're reading or something, and they could say, okay, the kids struggle with this, they struggle with that, so we're gonna come up with like stuff to to help them read better or do do these kinds of. Uh, they're struggling with addition, but they're doing some subtraction and different things like that. Okay, now as far as the intellectual property uh, of campus administration software as software as a service system, software as a service, uh, we talk about this all the time, and so uh, software as a service is a is a great, great, great business. I really, really like software as a service because remember they create their software and they just maintain it and they add to it and they're just selling it to everyone in the meantime. It is a fantastic business model um, for typically both sides. I mean, because it's it's usually very affordable for the consumer and the business is making a whole lot of money uh, because they've already basically have like a almost like a sunk cost for the the cost of building the system and then eventually they, they understand that they'll expense it for a long time and they will be able to make their money back okay so that is great as well as intellectual property licensing there's a lot of money in this licensing uh because for, for so many reasons the, these are great business models and then these guys are also doing so entertainment and music education now as far as education goes we talked about this music education Kids will watch the same thing over and over and over and over again. This is my my famous, my infamous Baby Shark example. Okay, Baby Shark has been heard over a billion times with a B, uh, and because kids will listen over and over and over again. Okay, they love songs, they love to sing, and this is this is what happens. Like, it is insane. It's insane. Okay, so uh, her scrambler, I like her analysis. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, no problem, my pleasure. I, I love taking a look at these at these stocks. You know, although I can't get too deep in them sometimes, um, I love to take a look, especially with these new stocks. We're, we're about to talk about uh, this stock that we saw yesterday that I'm very excited about. James is talking about it right now. Uh, but let's take a look at these financials. Um, financials, they were they weren't the greatest. So they started off. So in 2017, they were uh, making about a million dollars. Um, and that was down from the previous year. It looks like actually. So uh, something to keep in mind in 2018, they were up to 6 million. So from 1 million to 6 million, which is fantastic. 2019, they did go down to 4.5 million. Uh, 2020, it doesn't look like it is uh, updated here or something. So uh, take that for what that is. So I'm curious to know what happened. I, I, I'm not sure if it really went up this year or during 2020, just with everything that happened. Uh, they may have recovered toward the end, but maybe not. Um, so that is that institutional ownership is 0.44%. Uh, but I think this is this are these guys relatively newer? Let me see when these guys were listed. Five year 2016. No, I mean, they've been on here for a while. I think, yeah, 2009. So yeah, I think we use this as my example of why I'm scared of IPOs. But uh, so we were looking at the Institutional ownership. So a little bit of not much institutional ownership, which kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, I don't see anything on the analyst. And as far as the chart setup goes, let's look at the six month and let's look at the three month now. OK, so kind of consolidated. It's and this is what, what I talk about chasing stocks. I don't like to chase stock. It is not a, in my personal opinion, it's not a good place it's not a good play to chase stocks and this is why you have a huge run up okay and it ran down huge run up ran back down to where it was okay now here's the thing i will say it looks like we're again huge run up and it ran all the way back down now the question is and granted don't get me wrong it's been st stepping higher each time um except for this one you know kind of consolidated pretty well but it's been stepping now i think this is going to be due for a huge run soon and when i say huge run i mean i wouldn't be surprised if this went to two dollars or maybe even back to you know 250 or something so it could be a good a good uh swing trade i, I probably wouldn't hold this unless you're going to hold it for a long time and, and get a lot of money but uh, even then you could probably hold sell it sell it at high whenever it comes back down you can you can buy in and, and average down or something seems like a pretty good stock but you know you just want to be careful now as far as returns goes this is, let's look at the one year um hey not bad actually it looks like a low of you know 30 cents it's at 
you know dollar 82 right now so uh good returns but as you can see it kind of goes up and then all the way back down to 40 cents so you you have to decide if this is the kind of play that you want to get in and again i'm, I'm always scared uh with these chasing of stocks so uh, something to consider let's take a look at the stock that we were talking about yeah whoever found Watt, uh this this is a crazy stock this is the coolest thing i'm just gonna go to the website because holy smokes Take a look at this thing. If you guys weren't here yesterday, prepare to have your mind blown. These guys are wirelessly charging from a distance. Look how it's charging. Like, it's not even touching. It's not like, it just has to be within the vicinity of it. And it charges it. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay? It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now, um, after we looked at this on the stream, I had so many questions. Because realistically... The question is, is actually uh, Ryan, I don't know if Ryan's still in here, but Ryan is the one who he makes me really think of everything. So um, I think of the good, but I think about the crazy, like not good, like conspiracy theory type stuff. And that's why I talked about what kind of um, uh, what is it called? Like signals like radio signals is it putting out you know if it, if it could be harmless stuff like that might be a little bit crazy. But oh, actually, Lee, see, those are things I didn't even think about, like you know what's going to happen if it's next to something as as serious as a pacemaker or or stuff like that now granted i'm sure it's different frequencies it probably wouldn't affect anything but you know if you have you know if you got the vaccine now you have the the microchip in your arm is it going to mess with the mic <laughs> just kidding guys um if uh oh my gosh sorry i don't have my my tinfoil hat on but anyways so very interesting things now Here's my real question. So it's, yeah, exactly, Muhammad. The Wi-Fi of charging, great way to put it. They call it charging 2.0. I'm not sure if that's a patented term or, or what, but uh, here's, here's something interesting. I try to, here's the question. Are you gonna have to buy all new products? This looks like an Xbox controller. I'm sure that's just a, an example. I'm sure this, this toothbrush is just an example, but are you gonna have to buy all new products? Like, are you gonna have to buy new new earbuds? Are you gonna have to buy a new phone? Are you gonna have to buy this? Are you gonna have to buy that? So a lot of different questions, because I looked at the products here, and as you pull up the products, you can see that this is what they're offering here. It's basically, uh, okay, let me, it's these chips like this. Okay, these are the products that they're selling. Let me see if I go down here, if they're all, if they're all the same kind of chips. Yes. Yeah, see, so it's this kind of stuff. So now, the question is, and I actually sent them an email because I am curious about this. Did you show this product yesterday too? Uh, yes, friendly. I did show this, uh, this, and I can't take credit for it. Someone found it for me and I was just blown away. Uh, I was absolutely blown away. Now the question is, is, you know, will I have to buy all new products? And number two, or is the plan for them to sell this to Apple, sell this to, you know, Google, sell this to all these companies and have those companies um, adopt it and then put it in their phones and say, hey, guess what? Now you can use it, you know, now this will charge with wireless 2.0. And so is this a down the future? Either way, if this is as great as it seems, and it seems pretty great, I really don't see any downside to this other than, you know, if Apple comes up with their own or Google comes up with their own or something like that. For all we know, though, maybe there will be a a, a buyout. They might buy out this company. Like if Apple or, or Google or somebody buys out or Samsung buys out this company, then, hey, being in the stock will have paid you very, very well. But I think in the long term, this is probably going to be a fantastic play. Magic toothbrush. Uh, I think in the long run, this is going to be a, a fantastic play. Um, and look at, look at, let's see what the military applications are. I mean, we've seen all this, this stuff and, you know, realistically, um, I don't know what they would, I guess if they want to charge this drone, they really don't have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. I think they had, where was it? Oh, look, receivers, transmitter, software, low down. What is low down? Hmm. Anyways, as you guys can see, this is, this is a, a very, very cool, uh, thing it's so cheap i don't know oh the stock is cheap yeah okay let's take a look currently yeah three dollars 88 cents now the question is is who else is in the space are there any other in acquisition could be could be pretty fantastic sky now a bunch of different questions you know we're excited about this absolutely but who else is in this space 
those those send off crazy rays real bad to be around for long periods of time eric that's that's my question that is a that that is a great great question um and i don't know if if it is sending off those bad rays then that's a lawsuit waiting to happen however with with the technology hopefully it's a specific kind that and actually i think they talked about hmm what do they talk about 5g i think i saw something about 5g this is theoretically what 5g would be able to do Hmm. I might might have been mistaken, but I thought there was something like that, that you can do some kind of wireless charging theoretically with like 5G or something like that. There's some very interesting stuff going on with this kind of technology. Now, again, there's just all those questions of safety and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of leave it there. I, I'm very excited about this stock i think it could be fantastic and remember be the hype it looks like there was some hype back here died down i like it when it died down because that means there's more hype to come uh whenever it happens um james says yo i was on the phone i didn't find what i heard about it here last night and bought some today i smoked too much <laughs> weed to remember who found out yeah i can't remember who found out but um somebody had found out people blame, blaming 5g yeah we're not going to talk about those the 5G people, but uh, interesting stuff. Very interesting. Okay, so let's take a look. I can't. I couldn't look at my my position being down anymore for my my option. It was hurting my heart. Um, no, it was here. It was here, James. We talked about it here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, someone else, some other people had posted some stocks, and I got crazy. I got crazy into it. Uh, Alan, I, I forgot you, my friend. Well, I didn't forget you about you because I remember you messaged me. So Alan said, "Hey, bro, what do you think about CTRM? I bought 100 shares yesterday. Think there's potential? Yeah, I really like CTRM. I do have a video on CTRM if you haven't seen it yet. Um, CTRM. Delete this one. Am I on CTRM? No." All right, and so I do. I have a video on this one. Uh, I do like the stock. What can I say? Very simple business. Very easy to understand. Now, my my concern. I do have some concerns, and that comes from a few different things. Now they were they were listed. They IPO. It looks like in twenty nineteen, beginning of twenty nineteen. Institution ownership by two point eighty percent. I think it's a very simple business to understand. They're doing uh, shipping. They ship goods. Uh, I think it's mostly raw materials that they ship. Um, but either way, uh, pretty easy to understand. Now, the question is, what is going to happen? You know, this, it seems like a saturated market though, is my problem. Uh, as much as I do like it, I, I just worried about the saturation of it. Um, and there's a lot of big ships doing big things. Um, I'm trying to find exactly, is it the, the about, I'm trying to find what they ship. It, I had seen what they ship specifically, but anyways, it's basically like raw materials that they ship. Now, the question is, is, is this going to be a good thing? Is it going to be a bad thing? Is this going to be... What's going to happen? Are they are they big enough to sur survive? Can they steal some of the market share uh, with, with everything? You know, who, who knows? A lot of different questions in there. Hard to see what's going to happen. I, I do like the stock for a long-term play. Um, you know, they're relatively new, so hopefully they can penetrate the market and do well. But... Uh, hard to say, hard to say. Oh, it was Andrew G. Dang, Olive went, guys. Let's get some, let's applaud uh, Olive Cheeto Man over here. Went into the yesterday's stream and found Andrew G. Who asked for the stock. Man, been bag holding CTRM. Yeah, I'm bag holding a few stocks. Doesn't feel good, but you know what? I'm I'm so far down that I'm just gonna hold for a little bit. May may not be the best play, but uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold for a little bit, and I think they'll they'll recover. I bought just before the the market correction, and it really hurt uh, my heart. But I'm just gonna have to wait. Is CTRM the ships behind stuck behind the ever given ship? Oh gosh, um, yes. Uh, I don't know who who's stuck behind there. If you guys saw the the aerial footage, it was insane how many ships were stuck back there. Like 
a ridiculous amount of ships. Uh, I think there was like hundreds of ships or something waiting to go through, through the canal. And from my understanding, they can only fit so many at a time. And it's that backup is going to be there probably for a long time. So that's going to be kind of rough. Um, I hear, okay, so Starfish says, I hear a lot of people say invest in, in travel, like airline cruises, uh, but it seems like many are close to the highest price in history. Starfish, you are 100% right. You're 100% right. And I think that, uh, okay, I will say this. I like, cru I really like cruises and I like airlines. Um, I think that both of them may have a small correction, but especially because you're right, they're already back to where they were pre-COVID. I, I, maybe not necessarily all-time highs yet, but with them being where they are currently, I think the current momentum momentum that they have, as well as the economy opening up, I think it's going to propel them even further, just personally. That's my personal opinion. Um, and I think uh, I think those are going to be great plays. My favorite being, being cruises. I would be a little careful on the cruises. And you may want to decide that you don't want to go all in just yet. You may want to put in a good amount. And then you may want to... Uh, if it if it dips, let's say remember cruises. If there's a COVID outbreak, that's going to be bad for the cruise line. It's probably going to that's that the shares the cost is going to probably go down a little bit. So you're going to have to do that. You deal with that. Then you have to deal with excuse me the um and then you can buy the dip at that point. You know, and you average down a little bit if that happens, or if there's a correction, you'll be able to average down. So different different things to think about. I'm as much as you know, airlines are easy though. You know, I feel like everyone's in airlines and. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's already back to where it's going to be. Maybe it'll go even higher. Cruises, I feel like people are still a little scared about because there's a possibility they could go bankrupt. Uh, but or from my understanding, though. But uh, things to think about. Boats might sink. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Some people don't like boats or planes. Uh, evidently. My goodness. You guys, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in this chat. James, <laughs> you okay? You okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are there stocks for companies that are RV sale rentals? Hey, Starfish, I love where your head's at. Starfish, you are in the right mindset. You're thinking about all these things, and I, I would love to hear any other thoughts you have because you're saying the right stuff. Like, you're, I see the wheels turning and, and you're in you're in some good things, you know, another thing that you may want to consider if you're doing research is like concert venues. You know what I mean? Concert venues could be fantastic. Um, people want to go to concerts now, you know, uh, RVs. I didn't even think about RVs, but maybe people are going to want RVs. Maybe they're going to want to travel. Maybe they're going to want to go somewhere. Um, it's it's crazy. But you, you're in the right thought process, and I think that's going to make you a lot of money uh, if you play that. If you if you play it right, I think you're 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 in the right spot, the right place. Uh, Muhammad says, "Hey, thanks for the info as usual. Uh, we were expecting an announcement today from GameStop. Uh, what do you expect for tomorrow? I think today wasn't the announcement that they had. Um, wasn't the announcement that they had the hired? You know who they hired or whatever." the they brought in people from like amazon and and something like that i think that was their their stuff uh starfish says nurse travel but with fear intact yeah that's actually a great point i was actually just recently informed about how nurses they travel and they have to do this and that um i had a guy who was uh, helping me hang a tv and he was explaining this to me he was telling me how he rents out his house he rents out the bedrooms of his house to traveling nurses and um, they want to stay in somewhere nice. So they'd rather stay there than a hotel. And then on top of that, he rents out his car. So he has like a car there that he bought and um, he bought it just to rent it to these nurses and they'll pay daily because these these companies or whatever are paying the nurses to to stay there and they'll pay for the, all these expenses. So they have a nice car to drive. They have a nice place to stay. Um, it's it's actually such an interesting thing that I never even knew about. But yes, traveling nurses, there's a lot of stuff to uh, to do with that. A lot of good businesses. Um, so interesting. Uh, James says, I worked in mass air, uh, mass transportation. I'm just letting people know 
cars, buses, planes, and even, uh, I think it's supposed to be boats, uh, have breakdowns after sitting idle for long periods of time? That's a great question, James. And you know, what we all don't know is like, maybe they've been, maybe they know that. So they've been either continuing maintenance on it, or they've been running them just to make sure that, you know, they run them once a day or something, just one, a few pilots, making sure that they're going around, they're working just fine, transferring airport to airport or something. Uh, could, could be something like that, but I'm really not sure. Hope I would, I would hope that they would do something like that, but uh, we shall see. Uh, that happened in the morning. I think the announcement was supposed to be, oh, the, oh, so the GameStop announcement was supposed to be around three or four. Uh, so we expected it will be different, uh, different new. What's the price prediction for GME tomorrow? Things in advance. So, <sighs> Jake, what's up, Jacob? Uh, so the question is, is GameStop for tomorrow? Obviously, no one can really tell you what GameStop is going to be for tomorrow. If they tell you what it's going to be, they're they're lying you know we really don't know now we've seen some good consolidation here right let's look at the let's look at the one month and see what's been going on okay uh obviously we were up at from 99 dollars, huge run up to 348 at the very very top and then kind of coming down but consolidating a nice nice levels of support around this 200 dollar mark uh and we've been teetering on 200 and uh you know 190 around that that area all the way down to some levels of support around 175 right and so the question is is you know, which way is it going to go? We've seen some crazy moves over here and I'd be mentally prepared for this stock to go down. And if it goes down, you know, what's your plan? Are you going to buy the dip? Are you going to let it run down and, and just be scared? Are you going to average down? So many questions. Now, what you need to think is, um, so I, I really can't tell you which way it's going to go. I have no clue. Uh, if I were to guess, I would probably say it might be, I don't know, sideways day, maybe a down day but you you really never know and remember we're waiting for a few things we're waiting for those dtcc rules we're waiting for the um uh the dtcc rules we're waiting for a bunch of stuff we're, there's a bunch of stuff um when, when is the lambo uh it looks like jake is saying if amc goes to 100 dollars, we all get red colored lambos you heard it here first first folks red colored lambos Oh my gosh. Uh, and that is that. Uh, Corey, we'll definitely check your scrambler. Just type it again. See if he doesn't help. He helps everyone if he can. Check if you're scrambler. I don't know what you mean, Olive. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, but def, check your scrambler. Just type it again. Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, Eddie, GME, 2 million per share, no doubt. Guys, I've been seeing those these crazy posts, and I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a doubter at all. Uh, I would not say it's not possible, but, uh, you know, 2 million is, is kind of crazy. Winnebago. <laughs> I'll buy three Teslas instead. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know if I'd get a Lambo. I'd probably get like a, like a Tesla, and I probably wouldn't even get a crazy Tesla. I'd get like a nice, normal Tesla, you know, like a, I don't know, a, a, a cheap one or something, you know, just something very, maybe, maybe a SUV one, uh, if I'm feeling crazy, but I don't know, uh, probably not a Lambo. Great info. <laughs> Huge fan. Thank you so much. Uh, James, not sure about that, but I'm with you either way. James, Jake is with you all the way to the moon. He's going to be strapped in that rocket ready for a liftoff launching with you just going all the way all the way to the top yeah if it goes to two million per share i mean here's the deal i'll say this if it goes to two million per share and you guys haven't sold yet i don't know i don't know what to tell you honestly <laughs> you 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 may have a problem if you haven't sold that if you didn't sell at one million per share then you have a problem and or maybe you're a genius um Oh, hurt scrambler. I'm sorry. I was like, I was like, I didn't scramble any words. I'm not playing Scrabble. I was so confused. Uh, RV stock WGO. Oh, it, I thought you were messing with me or something. I thought you were going to buy a Winnebago. Um, thank you for, for walking me through this. Hey, so uh, scrambler now, now you know that here, here's a stock that you could use uh, for, for this. I didn't even know they sold like RVs and stuff, or I guess, you know, why wouldn't they? But I, <laughs> I don't know how you guys do this. Let's take a look at the, any cars? Oh, Winnebago. RVs, there you go. Man, look at these RVs. Not bad, not bad. 
Cool. I tried. Thank you, Bobby, for trying. Oh, hold on. What do you want to know? Hold on. Let's see. I, I got you. I got you guys. Muhammad wants to know. Where's Muhammad? Wasn't there an interview with GameStop that had third uh, with third bridge today? I'm not sure if anybody has any news articles for like the GameStop announcements or anything. Let me know in the discord. I want to I'd, I'd be happy to pull it up. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure. Let's check. Yeah, let's check up Winnebago really quick. Let's see how they've been doing uh, financially. I'm, I'm curious to know how they did in 2020. Man, these guys are a billion dollar company. What in tarnation? From uh, 1.3 billion to 1.7, 1.6, all the way up to 2.4. So, hey, doing fantastic in 2020. Jeez. Um, man. I Now, the question, and again, you know, I'm just not too versed, well versed on this. I don't know what is going to happen in 2021. Are, are, are a lot of people, and you know, this is a great, actually, you know, let me, let's get, let's get the, the wheels turning. So, in in during the pandemic you know during covid right now we learned that a lot of people purchased used vehicles right they per because they did not want to ride with you know the bus public transportation due to the the due to what's been going on you know they don't want to be exposed so the question is, is what is going to happen with this company this company could be fan freaking tastic because now people are on the open road, maybe they want to travel, maybe they want to go places. They're like, you know what? We haven't done anything all year. We have all this extra money. Let's go ahead and get in it. You know, let's hop into this stock. So this could be a great one. Thank you for, man. See, this is why it's so great to help each other, like to help each other find these stocks. Because look, now we found a stock. Looks like it could be a winner. Um, and that's that. How think that's been doing in the one year? In the one year. And so this is what I'm talking about. You know, we talk about these stocks and how they're going to do. And we talked about the cruise lines as well as the, uh, what is the other one? Oh, Sky, I'll take that out in a, in a second, my friend. Um, Grant, what's up, Grant? So this is what we talk about. We talk about the cruise lines and, and airlines and stuff. Now, here here's pandemic, right? Here is March 18th this is a lockdown. And as we can see, so this is pre-pandemic. They were at $61. And look, now... Look how fantastic they're doing. Is this their, let's look at their maximum. I wonder if they hit their all-time high. All-time highs. Guys, we're, we're seeing this with a lot of stocks. The question is, is you know, is this going to happen with the stocks that you're thinking? Like, there's a lot of stocks that are currently going to all-time highs. Now, is there going to be a huge correction here? Well, let's, let's zoom in a little bit, and let's take a look. Let's look at the three-month. Okay. Looks like it, it had, excuse me, a pretty a, a correction. I would call this correction. Sure double bottom um and now the question is is gonna is it gonna start to run looks like it already started to run we had a level of resistance around here right and i'm gonna go ahead and draw this line here we had this level of resistance broke through it and now we're in bullish territory the question is are we going to continue to hold they're not oversold in the rsi or anything so this could be a great stock as long as they continue to uh to with that upward trend could be fantastic Oh, yeah, let's check the institutional ownership. 96% institutional ownership. The best friends in the entire galaxy. Uh, BlackRock and Vanguard always hanging out together, holding hands. And that's what we have. That is, you see it right here. Uh, looks like the the analysts, they're saying 102 is the, the high price target. Average is 86.36 and the low of 73. And so uh, always, you know, I always take these with a grain of salt. However, could be freaking crazy um nice find very nice find uh where yeah 96 percent institution ownership is is nuts uh great finds a s c t let me take a look for you sky oh you know what uh sky says outdoor stocks are going to be high in the summer sky i didn't even think about that that's a great point you know those could be those could be pretty uh pretty great um ASCT is this is this not the right stock um sky ASTC my bad all right what do these guys do the company invents, acquires, and commercializes techno uh, technological oh, innovations <laughs> uh, sourced from internal research universities, 
laboratories, and research institutions. Interesting. Uh, the company operates through two business units, Astro Scientific and Astral Images uh, Corporation. Astro Scientific is a technology incubator that commercializes technologies and includes the operations of subsidiaries, subsidiaries and uh, or such as First Detect Corporation and Astrogenics. Astral segment for, uh, provides film digitization. Uh, image correction and enhanced technology. It offers uh, system containing off the shelf hardware and integrated astral software, software products from scanning. In. Okay, so the only thing is, I have a small brain, and some of these things are I don't even I don't even know what they do. You know, I'm trying to see if I could find something good here. So, okay, let's go back to the the thing really quick. Let me see if I can break this down the only thing is it's very like research stuff and man sometimes guys if you know anything about like research and stuff sometimes they they search and search and stuff and nothing ever pans out like it's a lot it's a huge money suck granted it only takes like one product for it to really play and for it to print but you just gotta be careful now hey let's say like the astral right they're doing uh what was it uh, let me see like one that I like here. Film digitization, image correction and enhanced technology. Like, I, I don't know what they would do to that. Now, if you know that they're going to, they're trying to work out a deal with Photoshop, they're going to sell this product to them and they're going to sell the intellectual property and Photoshop is going to give them a royalty for 10 years or 20 years, whatever it's going to be. Now, Hey, that's a play, but you know, those are the kinds of questions you need to ask yourself. I see aerospace and defense. Are they going to use this to project asteroids and the government's going to buy it and they're going to be able to make a lot of money with a government contract. Those are the questions you need to be able to answer uh, before you, you buy into these. Hey, they're in Austin, Texas. Look at that. So let's look at their, their profits. Maybe that speaks for themselves. Okay. 2017, they were a million dollar company. 2018, 50 K as far. And this is profits only. Um, then 37 K then 39 K. So I don't know what in the world happened with this company and we talk about this you know maybe maybe they have been investing in themselves maybe they've been uh you know just investing in themselves trying to work on new products it's not cheap maybe they're hiring more scientists or, or whatever they're, they're working with to try to come up with more products but you have to really decide what is going to be great you know what's going to happen um with the stock so uh, institutional ownership is 8.86%. Not really my favorite. Vanguard and BlackRock here per usual. They're in everything. So um, that is that chart setup. It looks like they did have a good little run up. They pulled back. Now, holy baloney, what happened back here? Man, this is, this is like a short squeeze or something. This is crazy. Uh, but that's that. So taking a look over here, they are consolidated. They're at $2. Uh, they ran up to $4 back here, $7 back here. So, you know, you may be uh, able to look for a nice little, little play, but... Um, you know, question is, did they find a bottom? Are they have some good levels of support. They may have found a bottom. I just be careful for a crazy pullback, but you know, here you, you could probably be sitting pretty here. Uh, I just make sure it doesn't cross under that level of support down here. I'll give it a little line here. We'll grab, I'll put it, I'll put it there. Kind of rough. I don't like that. It, that this kind of candles underneath it, but nothing else would touch if that was the case. So uh, we'll just put this rough candle here or rough uh, line of support and we'll see how it goes. How what's up? IVR. Yes. IVR is looking pretty fantastic. If you guys don't know about IVR, this is one of my favorite, favorite stocks that I, uh, I've been showing people. And so taking a look here, you can see they've been down, but you know what this company, let's take a look at the five-year chart. Look at how they've been in the five years. These guys are mortgage. These guys are boring. And I love boring 50% institution ownership, BlackRock and Vanguard sitting at the tippy tippy top, which is fantastic. Uh, I wonder what the analysts are saying on this. Analysts don't seem to like it very much. And hey, this is a, you, your question is, what are we going to do? Personally, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold this for years and I'm going to, you know, just keep an eye on them, on their financials. Granted that they, they were doing pretty fantastic for the past few years. Uh, very, very consistent growth. 2020 was rough. It was rough for everybody. Now the, you know, now that the economy is opening, people are going to be paying their bills, people are paying, you know, uh, people are buying houses, people are, everything's happening. So I think their mortgage company, I personally think this is going to be a fantastic long-term stock. Look, the lowest they traded, we'll look back here was, was $5. That was in 2016. After 2016, I mean, just like, just 
consistently growing. Okay, uh, pre-pandemic, let's look at the beginning of 2018. They were at uh, where's the beginning of 2018? I mean, well, let's do the bottom over here. Thirteen dollars. Like this, this only needs to go to eight dollars for you to really feel good about your play. And anything higher is just that's double your money. You know, however long that takes. But I love this play a lot. You know, and it's like I said, it's a boring industry, but I like boring industries with a lot of institutional ownership. I love it. They have a dividend. Let me see what their dividend is. Uh, it is an eight point, almost a nine percent dividend. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know what to tell you. I like it. I like the stock. One of my favorite plays. Uh, Ryan is looking for good entry points on Wolf and Roblox. Let's take a look. Petco. We all know what Petco does. Let's take a look at the one month to see what's going on. Look at the six month. Oh boy. Okay, well, I found your problem. Uh, I don't like the no, I'm just kidding. Let's see, let's see if I like the stock. What are the financials look? Man, billion dollar company. Wow, Petco's doing the most. Uh, nice, consistent growth. Uh, bit of a small, small dip in 2019, like three percent, but hey, no big deal. During 2021, though, you know, uh 2020, 2021, doing doing great, Con very nice. Uh institutional ownership. Hmm. Uh, I guess I don't have it in this app just yet, but uh, looks like the analysts are pretty bullish on the stock. So let's take a look. I think this was a, a freak of nature right here. I think that this is going to be probably your new level of support over here. I, I, I was going to say something down here, but you know what? This large candle has basically made me feel good about stuff that's up here. I'm going to draw a line. We'll get it. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it here. Uh, mostly because I want these. I try to get this one, but no matter how how high I move it, we won't actually hit it. So I'll just move it down just a tad. Uh, either way, it's still around the same point. Um, I do like where it's at. I feel like you probably will get a pullback down to you know twenty. Eh, even if it's like look, even if it pulls down to twenty one. I mean, let's say it goes back down to twenty one fifty or something. You know, which is is. Well, then again, the way it's been running, I'd probably say twenty two dollars even or something. Uh, but. It's at 2188. I like where it's currently at. If, if you're bullish on the stock, um, you know, I'd, I'd be careful. It looks it, I'm really not liking the uh, how it's been looking. I really don't like IPOs. It's only been trading for about three months. And this this might be this might just drop down here. It's just been descending, uh, as you can see here. Uh, not my favorite play. Personally, I hate it whenever this does this to me. Not my favorite play at all. And it's not letting me grab that, so. Oh boy, I mean, just descending. I'm I'm gonna delete this. I really don't like how many how it's hitting the points like this. I could probably do a little more microscopically, but even then, let's see let's see if we have anything here that might feel uh, better. Okay, we have that. I wonder if we're gonna get a squeeze down. And what you may want to look for is a. Yeah, okay. So it's gonna squeeze down in here probably. And I'd, I'd hope that you get a, a large green candle here to really signify a bullish run. However, I'd be very scared that this is going to dip under here again and, and be in bearish territory. Um, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we will have to see. The dude, what kind of rockets you guys rolling in? Uh, the best kind, the best kind. DPG, what kind of upside are you seeing with FTFT? Future FinTech Group. Are these guys a... The main business of the company... Yeah. I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, the main business of the company is a shopping platform, Chain Cloud Mall, or CCM, which is based on blockchain technology and online cross-border e-commerce platform. Interesting. Uh, a blockchain based uh, application incubator and a digital payment system decon and the application of development of blockchain based e-commerce technology and financial technology. The company is also involved in the production and sale of fruit juice, concentrates and fruit beverages. What? Let's see if I can pull up their website. Let's see if anything shows up here. Uh, let me make sure this website is. Uh... Oh, They don't have an SSL on this website. 
which is not good. It says it's not secure. Scares me a little bit. Mm, I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting on here. I really don't see anything that I would I'm very excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And yeah, we're probably not going to pull up the website. Let's look at the financials, though. Uh, financials gross profit. Oh, boy. OK, so this is something that scares me. Like, take a look here. And and granted, you know, we know that there are things that people could be investing in themselves. But this company has been around for a long time. Uh, they IPO would back in 2009. Um, so yikes uh in 2016 there were 9 million uh gross profit great in 2017 from 9 million to 1.73 million then negative 86,000 then in 2019 to 490,000 uh i'm really 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 not liking the financials of this company at all granted i'm sure there's a larger picture here but even looking at the operating expenses uh they have gone down a lot so the company just either has scaled back or it's been dying uh so i'd be a little careful with that Institutional ownership, 3.5%, uh, yeah, 3.5%, essentially. Um, ew, not liking it one bit. Let's take a look at the six month on the chart. So, I mean, they did have a little bit of a come up, been kind of consolidating for a while, but even then, I I, I personally don't really like the stock, unless you're you're anticipating you're going to play it for a swing, or maybe you know something I don't know. You know, you, you could know something, but even then, look how messy this the stock has been. It was doing okay back back in the day, but even then, look look how what a mess. Like it went ran all the way down in 2016, had a huge jump from uh two dollars essentially all the way to twenty dollars. So I don't know what that was about. And then instantly just retraced and just kept falling, falling, falling. Um, if, if you're gonna play this, you may want to play this as a swing trade or something, because I don't think this is gonna make you a lot of money. Personally, I mean, you know, maybe it will make you a lot of money. Maybe I'm confused, but I, I don't I, I personally don't really like this one um too much. Uh so that is that. Uh, Pauline, uh, this group is friendly and respectful, and I love it. Hope everybody is making money uh, in the stock market. Thank you, Pauline. Yes, uh, we try to keep it cool, keep it respectful, keep it fun, uh, and that's how we do it around here. So absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let's take a look at another stock. I'm going to sip of water, and let's pick something. I hope that helped you a little bit, DPG, by the way. I know I kind of rip, ripped it uh, apart kind of harshly, but uh, I just be a little bit careful. I, I might look for a run and a pull out uh, and a pull like just an exit maybe, but I don't know. Just keep looks like it keeps on falling. APPS digital tr turbine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's look at this on the six month. Hey, not bad. Look at this movement. Is this the one year? Look at this one year. Are you kidding me? From $3 all the way to $100? Oh, my gosh. What do these guys do? Uh, software IT services. Software. Okay. So these guys are engaged in delivering end-to-end -end products and solutions for mobile operators, application advertisers, device original Wait, device original equipment manufacturers, oh, OEMs, uh, and other third parties to enable them to monetize mobile content. What is, okay. The company operates through one operating segment, advertising. Advertising, uh, the advertising segment is the operator and OEM uh, business. The O&O -O business, wow, that's so interesting how they had like, uh, anyways, we're, we'll just continue. The O&O business is an advertiser solution for carrier and OEM inventory consisting of services such as Ignite and a mobile device management platform and Discover, an intelligent application discovery platform. Man, that was just an absolute mouthful. Uh, I, did, I did see something I like, which is advertising. I freaking love advertising. I think advertising is, is pretty great. Now, the question is, is, what kind of advertiser are they, are, are, are they doing? Because I'm getting, personally, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing ads like 
especially those fake ads that, you know, whenever you play a mobile app or a mobile game or something, and it's just like, it's something weird and just lame. I don't know. There's something about some of these apps that are, that are pretty lame, uh, or these, uh, ads, the mobile ads that are pretty lame, but you know what, if they're doing ads and like Samsung, Verizon, at and like all of these things, that could be pretty crazy. I'm also kind of scared that these are the ads. Uh, I'm sure you've, you've seen the, the posts online where they talk about the, uh, what do they talk about? You know how you have like a brand new Samsung TV and all of a sudden you're getting like ads on this thousand dollar TV that you bought um that you can't even remove you just it's just an ad on your tv um people really really hate that i'm worried that there's going to be some some kind of implication with that uh so that is that um let's see if we have anything else in here why we work with you so for operating oems so they're doing so obviously advertising in here uh go direct exclusive advertisement with carriers so yeah this is directly on the phone directly on the carrier and on the smart TV devices, I'm a little worried about the future of, of what is going to happen with these. Like if I, I I'm I feel like it's going to be, you know, how the gamification of, of stuff was all of a sudden a big deal. How, you know, things like Candy Crush, they uh, well, I'm not or let, let me see. Excuse me. So, you know, how things like I'm not sure if Candy Crush got in trouble for this, but there were a lot of different platforms and games that got in trouble. I think it was it may have been mostly in the UK for the gamification of these apps where the kids just become so addicted to it. And they just like click all these things and they watch all these ads and, um, and adults get addicted to these things too. You'd be, I'm sure somebody's grandma in here, uh, loves candy crush and has spent thousands of dollars on it. Uh, so anyways, I, I wonder what the future of, of that kind of stuff is going to be. Could be good. Could be bad. Either way, let's get back to the stock. Let's look at the financials and see what it's been doing. Um, consistent steady growth 11 million 25 million 35 million 53 million growing 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 especially during this pandemic um i, I i'm surprised it's not even larger during the pandemic honestly but uh especially with people being home soaking up those ads all the time uh pretty interesting um as far as i saw blackrock vanguard and fmr in here the three amigos having a good time uh institution ownership 66.86% Guys, there's money in ads. There's just money in ads. This is where people make a lot of money. So uh, let's take a look what else is going on. The analyst looks like they're pretty bullish on it. $115 as the high, 94 as the average, and low of $65. Already above the 65. So look at this growth. Nice chart. And I think this is the market correction. The question is, where are you going to continue to go? Are you going to continue to go upward or downward? You know, And I think that this, this stock could continue to grow in a very healthy way. Absolutely. Ooh, Eric, do you have a, a, a smaller list, my friend? Uh, Eric Lynch, uh, that I could, um, yeah, financials are good. Institution ownership is good. Uh, I agree. I agree with you, Mings. Uh, I think this is, I, I like this stock. This is, this is, seems like a great stock. I'm the only thing I'm kind of worried about is they ran up too much, but I don't know. It, everything looks good and everything looks good to me. So, uh, things to think about. Absolutely. Uh, DPG says, no problem. I appreciate the advice. I saw another YouTuber talking about it and I felt the same way you did, but uh, thought he was missing. Yeah. You know, and it's kind of give and take like other YouTuber, you know, maybe that guy knew or that person knew something more than I did if they liked it. Um, I personally did not like the, you know, I really just didn't like it very much. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to, a lot of people, they'll just say yes, because if you're asking about the stock, you're probably really considering buying buying it or you're already in it and you want to you want me to be bullish on it unless you have puts on it which most of us aren't really like bears so uh i i just have to keep it honest um personally and i know it you know i'm sure people get upset sometimes but just my uh my personal opinions so eric uh lynch so those are the ones that trey's trade talked about i i would just be so careful buying into the stocks other stocks that people just recommend, you know, unless you see something that, that really makes sense. Um, I did buy into a lot of, uh, the stocks that he recommended. Um, unfortunately I purchased it just before the, the market correction. And right now, not a single one of those stocks is, um, looking good for me, you know, and granted, I, I, I'm sure they're going to be great stocks. I'm holding on to them. I'm not going to let go. Uh, but you know, 
it right now, like since I didn't do the research, I'm like, you know, I'm having this almost remorse of like, dang, I should have like done the research. I, sh I just took somebody's word for it and I bought the stock and who knows if this is going to pay off or not. But now I just have to like, I have to sit in it and I have to watch these stocks be negative, you know, 80% or whatever it is because I bought it at the height and it doesn't feel good. So I just be super careful buying those stocks. And that's why I, I like stocks like IVR. And this is one of those stocks where you can definitely see uh, you know, in my personal opinion, you can kind of see the, the potential here. There's not a, there wasn't a huge run up recently. It's been consolidating. As, as you can see, there's steady growth, like it's slow growth. This is since 2020, it's gone from two, uh, you know, like $2 40 cents to four dollars. So a hundred percent, you know, almost a hundred percent. And I feel like this is a nice steady stock. It's going to go up a little bit. It's going to go down a little bit, but at the end of a year or two years, it's going to be great. And that's my, uh, that's why I like stocks like this. You know, you can clearly see, look how good they've been doing all this time. And the pandemic hit and everything hit the fan. Uh, personal opinion. Uh, so yeah, I just be kind of careful with, uh, with some of these stocks. Yeah. A lot of people have stocks are sitting on it. And again, you know, I didn't buy, I'm not buying stocks just to, just to sell them at a loss. Like I'm not going to sell them at a loss. Like that's what a lot, of, a lot of people do. And that's how you lose a lot of money. If, you, if you're going to buy it for a month, it's going to go, maybe it dips in that month, unfortunately, coincidentally. And what are you going to do? Sell, sell, sell that at a loss, then buy another stock that's doing well, and then it dips, and then you sell that one again. So just my personal opinion of, of what I want to do. Um, Pauline, let's take a look at FSR. Absolutely. Fisker. You know, Fisker is one of those that I, I really wanted to get in. I never hopped into it. And I think it's one of those that, um, I'm, I'm going to regret, regret not hopping into. And as I'm looking at this huge run up, I, I would have 100% been on it, but would I have sold the top? Probably not because I'm greedy. So, um, yes, Eric, you're right, my friend. And I know I, I just kind of bash those companies. I do feel like they have a lot of good plays. Personally, I like, um, I really like Mavis. I think that Mavis is, has a lot of, I, I okay. So my favorite is going to be AMC. Um, and probably Mavis, I'll give you my top two AMC and Mavis. And the reason I like, uh, microvision is because of the LIDAR technology, that LIDAR technology, um, with all these companies going EV and they're trying to have these like self-driving cars while, um, well, I can't, I don't know what Elon feels about it anymore. I heard that he doesn't like it. Now people are saying he does like it. Maybe he switched his opinion. Maybe, maybe now he does like it. He didn't like it. But as far as, um, that goes, I feel like LIDAR is really going to be a great option for some of these EV companies. And I think that they're going to, you know, it just takes somebody to say yes and like hop into it. And, it, and remember what LIDAR, if Microvision sells, and I think they're also doing a mil military application. And now if, if, if they get LIDAR into like the new Ford electric vehicles or the GM or whoever else, or maybe they'll sell it to everybody. Maybe everybody will use LIDAR because Elon Musk isn't selling his technology and no one can recreate his technology. I, I don't know if that's true, but maybe that's what will happen. So I feel like Microvision has a lot of upside. Um, and you know what? It is on a dip. Those, those stocks are on a dip. See which ones you like the most. And if you like them, you know, put a little bit in each and see which one prints for you. Uh, and hopefully you can, you can hedge your, your position and one will kind of just carry you and the other one might not carry you so much, but you'll still be really good on the other one. So but those dips uh, are are great, and I think that I feel like if you buy the dip, you you probably wouldn't hate yourself <laughs> like me buying at the top. So uh, I don't hate myself, but you, you get my drift. But uh, not financial advice, personal opinions, and I hope it works well for you, my friend. Uh, I know it's a tricky decision, but make sure you feel good about the company and you believe in it before you uh, you pull the trigger, because that's whenever you really like second guess yourself. Um, we were taking a look at Fisker. So let's take a look at Fisker. I think I can I go to their website. I know they're like EVs and stuff. Um, the only thing is I really don't know too much about exactly what they're trying to do with their EVs. Oh, they're just like cool cars. Hmm. This is their entire website. <laughs> what? Here we go. Here we go. Look at these cars. Cool looking cars. And you could reserve it with Apple Pay, cool stuff. Okay, so here's here's my question. 
and this is what I don't know. Is this a Nicola situation? If this is a Nicola situation, then yikes, this could be uh, bad news bears because Nicola was one of those companies that were, were doing so well. But uh, I weren't they the company that um, what do they have? What happened to them? Uh, they were doing so well. And then they were the company that didn't have real cars like it was. It was all a it was like a, a concept car. It wasn't real. So it, it really hurt them pretty badly. Now, the question is, is, OK, these cars look cool. I'm sure they work well. Not a bad price, I suppose, for for what it is. I wonder about how self-driving capability, a lot of different questions. What's the maintenance costs? You know, what is it going to do? You know, vegan interior, you know, a lot of cool things, sustainable. OK, that's cool. Um, Let's see if there's any kind of like pictures of it oh this is just media releases so hey they look pretty cool they almost look like um range rovers you know and so yeah fake cars and trucks for nickel and not good at all now you know just a lot of different questions I, i'm just super weary after that experience i didn't jump in it but um i wanted to jump in it very badly or maybe i did jump in it and get burned you know i don't know what this is at the top is that charging the vehicle um now are you gonna have to find there's just so many questions so many questions. So, you know, I, I do like what it's doing. I think EVs are great. This may be a good long-term play, um, or maybe it'll be a great short-term play. And maybe you can jump in before the hype and and, and it'll print. Uh, looks like the institutional investors are in it, which is fantastic. 23%. I'm curious what Nikola is. Uh, around the same. Around the same. A few people and a few more, just barely a little more in, in this one. But you know what? This could be a great, great, great long-term play um, i'm not sure if the roof is solar i tried to take a look at that uh sky uh, i'm seeing this this roof stuff um i'm hoping it's solar or something to give it just that extra umph as it drives um i think it'd be actually really smart to to do it but i'm really not sure if anyone knows uh let me know the official merch I don't know if this is just their, I don't know what that is. It's kind of their, their thing though. Maybe it's just their signature. Go to our website. I'm not on their website. Okay. Anyways, getting a little tricky to navigate. I'm going to leave it as is, uh, but we shall see. Uh, that is that. Very, very interesting. Let's take a look at some of the financials. Um, oh yeah, uh, I don't think there were any financials here to really take a look at. We can see that they, hey, they've been spending a lot of money on marketing, which is great. You know, that marketing is going to have them, uh, do well. Um, yo, 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 what's up, Mike? Mike says, just got here. What ticker are y'all talking about? And what did I miss? Uh, Mike, you missed these stocks so far. Some, some are winners and some not so much. Um, I do like. I don't know if you've seen this one, if you saw this one from yesterday, Mike, but this one is freaking sick. It's fantastic. Wireless charging 2.0. It charges and you're not even connected to it or laying on it. So cool stuff. We're looking at Fisker right now, trying to decide if it's a, if it's a sham or if they actually have these vehicles ready to go. Uh, so that is the question. Uh, so we shall see. But anyways. Uh, that's basically what we're talking about. We're looking at the financials now, trying to see what's going on. It looks like they've been putting money in advertising, which is what they need to do. Fisker went bankrupt about, you know, um, I think I thought I heard about Fiskers. Like Fiskers, they were the old cars and stuff. Um, and I'm, I guess they're making a resurgence. I don't know. Maybe it's like a BlackBerry situation where they used to make phones. They've been like low down for a little bit. And now they're like making the coolest thing ever. I think BlackBerry, I'm actually personally pretty bullish on BlackBerry long term. Um, I think they are going to be pretty great and i did get that from ryan i don't know if ryan is still in here but uh actually ryan is the one who showed me about just so you guys know whoever has liked blackberry for a long for recently just know ryan is like blackberry for literally like five years or something he's been in blackberry this whole time waiting and waiting uh jamie says they have no sales jamie hardman um i don't know if you're talking about these guys don't have any sales or blackberry doesn't have any sales but uh yeah these guys good point i don't know why i'm looking at their financials they don't have any sales thank you jamie i don't know what i'm thinking in my head but i do see i, I did want to see what kind what uh what was going on in the financials as far as uh this stuff yes w-a-t-t -T was the ticker thank you uh thanks lee thanks for helping each other out guys um we looked at this 
analysts are they're liking the stock and this could be i'm telling you guys like you know the hype is looks like it died down i don't know if we really found a bottom here yet we may have found a bottom but you know if this if this goes any lower uh i mean what's the lowest gonna go 14 bucks so two bucks more really not too crazy um but um bb so bb was you know obviously there was a lot of hype there was kind of the gamma squeeze around that time but while you know the hype is going to die down that stock isn't going to go anywhere if you don't know what bb does watch my my video on blackberry because holy smokes they're doing the most that video made my head hurt making it because they they do so much and it's so impressive what they've built and it's going to go in everything they're going to like I would not let's put it this way like i don't think this is going to happen but if all of a sudden tesla purchased them or something because of how amazing their technology is i I'd 100 believe it or if amazon i think amazon's working with them if amazon decides to completely acquire the money and create uh all transportation all this all that and put their they basically have an operating system and put their operating system and everything i, I wouldn't be surprised one bit because it is very 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 impressive uh what they're they're working on and I, i'd recommend taking taking a second look at uh blackberry if you're if you're not too sure about it um but yeah so that's what's going on with this stock uh hopefully they find a bottom this could be a great entry point to continue to look up um let's take a look at you said look at the one year on what and we can see 2021 stock is okay let's look at the one year and i'm sure i'll be able to determine yeah i mean they're doing they're doing great is the year the stock is up in the last three years five years Ooh, very interesting so i wonder what happened with these guys back here maybe it was another business venture that just didn't pan out you know and it just didn't work but that is that i seem to be losing a lot of viewers today it's so weird i'm like at an all-time low or something is my stream lagging or anything? Um, it's just weird. I mean, we're just like hanging out, but maybe maybe I'm boring today or something. It's it's actually really weird. Um, Pauline, are you talking about a WATT? Mm. yeah it's weird i don't know why it's dipping so much i have a lot of likes and everything and i don't know weird looking um so oh yeah so as far as the chart goes what's very yeah i wonder if they had a product didn't do so well starting to decline a little bit and then uh, yeah you're boring <laughs> um and it started to decline a little bit and then you know it's just their product didn't pan out and this is what we saw here you know it didn't pan out and maybe some fake hype or something and it just went down and uh i don't know weird stuff everything is red today oh, i didn't even notice that but um i don't know about everything is red but people are losing hype for amc on the meme stocks i guess and you know this is you know that's something i guess that's fine i mean i'm, I'm really not worried i just want to make sure trace stealing on your members i know that poor guy uh but uh, hey friendly reminder guys we're gonna be uh live in the mornings now starting thursday so starting Thursday, I'm going to be live from 30 minutes before the bell to 30 minutes after the bell. Central, it's going to be 8, eight to 9 central, okay? And so uh, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Pauline, you want, you're talking about FRS. Uh, let's take a look. Wait, it was Fisker, wasn't it? FSR. Um, so for Fisker... Your question was, should I wait more than buy the dipper by now? Okay, let's look at this on the one month and let's see, let's look at it a little more microscopically. Uh, let's zoom out just a tad and see what is happening. How far is this? Two, four, three, three. Um, you know, this, this may have been, I think this may be the bottom, uh, personally. Uh, I don't think that, I know Trey hasn't been on, that poor guy, I don't know if you guys saw his video. Um, I don't know that poor guy dude I feel so bad for Trey he's just not doing he's just not doing well um and I hope he's okay is, is what I'll say I don't want to I don't want to get too uh, emotional on here but I hope he's okay because I, I do feel bad for him uh 
But uh, to answer your question, uh, Pauline, I, I like where this is at personally. Um, I I'm not sure if we really found a bottom here. We may have found the bottom, uh, but at the very least, let's look at the three month, right? The bottom on the three month was 1437. So the question is, is, you know, if you think that it's going to be, you know, 1437 you know even if it goes down that much two dollars like i don't know if you'll be too upset about it and if anything maybe you can average down a little more but i personally like where it's at now um and you know granted do i think it's gonna go that low again nah, i don't think so i might go to 15 dollars or something but even then i feel like it, it'll probably be pretty good you want a trend line let's see if we can get a, you a trend line no problem no problem let's see if we can get a little breakout going on here hmm only thing about this is maybe i'll just do a level of support i'm thinking about doing an upward but i think i'm just going to do a level of support here and let's see if we have anything uh to look out for oh whoops i wanted to put it down one and we'll put it here okay so yeah actually th that was that was a good idea thank you uh thank you mike so look you're gonna see something in here i think the low probably will be around here uh, you know 16 dollars or something so i'm really not too worried about that extra change and if you're bullish on it i mean granted and that might not be the right way to look at it those those extra pennies that you'd save finding the perfect entry point aren't really worth it to me personally i mean uh you may just want to make sure there's not a bounce here but you know again if you if you wait a little longer maybe it'll go up you know if it breaks uh, ascending here and it really is bullish then you're just going to be paying more and more for it um but you know it's, it's going to be your call I, I i do like where it's at though uh animal says yeah you can always do a stop loss but again you, you really have to decide if that's if that's what uh it is for you mike doesn't know if we found a bottom yeah i'm not sure if we found a bottom could there could be also be a bottom around over here and I, i'll do this over here there's a there's a lot of support uh down here and let me see if I can get it. Ooh. I kind of like it up here, kind of like it down here. I'll do a rough one here. And I don't know. I'm having a little difficulty finding exactly where I'd want it to go. Let me see if I can get one in here. And I'll give you three points. Yeah, actually, I, I, I like that line. So let's see what this gives us. So you might you might be able to find something within these lines. Okay. This one being the 15, around 1538 or 1534, I suppose. But you really have to just pick your uh now you have a support channel <laughs> i know oh my gosh uh, could bounce big yeah i mean there we go yeah hearst i'm still gonna be in the uh at, at night i'm still gonna be my regular schedule at night i'm also gonna do it just in the morning for a little bit see how it works out it might be might not be good but hey maybe it'll be great um you have to try have to try uh rocky rocky says cost is a stock that everyone will be looking for for a squeeze looking at 91 percent borrow fee uh for like a week now just needs volume but everyone is in amc and gme uh hey good point good point hey no problem pauline yeah i could break out of the wedge soon uh that was a good idea mike thank you for that that uh idea so uh we'll see what happens hopefully it does wedge down and break out uh maybe you can get a good little entry point but again you know that extra i don't know 50 cents per share or something you know, I guess if you get enough shares, it could be a whole share, but I don't know. Some of those, uh, <laughs> that might be a terrible way to look at it, but who knows? Could bounce big. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at cost really quick. I see a lot of people talking about this. Yeah, so this one, my goodness, this is the, just the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this. From $2.77, obviously, you know, this was uh, the 25th all the way, and this is the 28th. I mean, wow, is what I'll say. Absolutely just wow. Insane. that's a terrible way to look at it eh, i'm not i'm not too worried about the the pennies you know if you think it's gonna here's the deal if that if that 50 cents breaks you then that might not be the stock for you if 50 cents is gonna ruin your profits then 
that is that may not be the best stock uh to hop in uh and you know <laughs> i don't know it's uh personal my personal thoughts personal thoughts um what am i looking for here i was gonna pull up Bear with me one moment, guys. Sorry about this. Whoops. Let me get logged in here really quick. I want to do some quick shout outs. One second. I'm sorry, guys. One second. I don't know how to use this website. Patrons. Benefits. Oh my gosh. This is my first time using this. All right, baller. <laughs> you guys, you guys are so silly, man. Oh my gosh. Where are you? Okay, let me go here really quick. I got two Patreons or patrons and I want to shout them out really quick. Uh, all right. We have Lee Martin and James Glenn. Thank you guys so much for being Patreons. Um, I'll tell you what, it's going to be freaking worth it. Um, secret surprises in store uh currently to if you guys uh there's absolutely no obligation but it, the option is there if you want to support me uh but you're supporting me just by being on here so no worries at all uh those are just people who want to give a little extra support um but you know what I'm, I'm thinking of perks currently i don't really have any perks written down on the actual website but they're gonna be some cool perks uh for those people so um that's all i'm gonna say uh, let's see here, 50%, right, animal, you're right, 50, 50 cents of 10,000 is a big deal, but, you know, chances are, are we buying $10,000 of the stock? If you're buying $10,000 of this stock, then does 50 cents matter to you? <laughs> Just kidding. But I don't know, you know, the little things like that. Um, so uh, that is that. I'll take a look. Eric, I can't look at all those stocks right now. I will take a look at, uh, a lot of people want an NNDM. nano dimension and these guys do the 3d oh, okay i talk about this one all the time so let me pull this one up um words. and these guys have a direct competitor and i'm tired of finding them on the dang what's what's their name site uh they're called hack smith Who do these guys use? These guys use a specific person, and I can't remember who they use, but um, I think this 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 stuff is pretty cool, okay? This thing, the only thing is who is gonna use it? You have to think about who is going to um, purchase this, you know, what are the competitors like? Remember, there there are companies that you can get, you can you can order your board from, and they'll just ship it to you. And I've and granted, I've heard people counter arguments say uh, it takes two weeks, this and that. And I also uh, one of the best counter arguments I've heard is, you know what? These are being purchased by the government. They have a government contract, and if that is true, if they have a government contract, then that is going to be fantastic for these guys. Okay, could be a lot of upside, but I think it might be a longer play. Now, as far as Mavis goes, yes, Mavis is a longer term play. Uh, it's, it's a long hold, but um, Trey, Trey's trades, he he anticipates it's going to be a thousand dollar stock. And if it's a hundred dollar stock, not a thousand, a hundred dollar stock by the end of the year. And so that is really what got me excited uh, about the stock. And I, I did hop in because of his his hypothesis, you know. And again, I, I just took someone's advice. I didn't do any research. I saw you know, I know about the LIDAR and this and that. Um, and I just kind of took someone's advice and, you know, it kind of, it hurts a little bit just because 
you know, uh, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure he's done his research. That's the stock that he's most excited about. And, uh, he, that's the one he, he kind of got big talking about at first and then AMC came along, but, um, yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. Tough being in multiple discords. I'm sure I know it's a pain. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so that is that, um, all right. I do need to run and uh, get some food, guys. It's been, oh my gosh, what a day. Uh, I am probably going to call the stream there. Um, if you, if anybody has any good DD that they want to send me, please send it on the Discord. I'd be more than happy to, to take a look. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll end up making a video tonight and we can kind of talk about uh, what's been going on. I think I do want to talk about what's been going on with Archegos or Archegos or whatever, Archegos, whatever they are. And, uh, uh, just a few different things. I've been, uh, you know, no excuses, no excuses. Uh, do you guys know I have late nights and stuff and long days? So, uh, it, you know, it is what it is. I, I know what I signed up for, but I'm going to continue to make these videos, get this content out for you guys. And I want, uh, I want it to be good. I want it to be good for you guys. So, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, we got a lot of likes. This is pretty cool. I don't know what happened with the viewers today. Maybe a weird day or something. Um, but no worries at all. I appreciate all of you guys hanging out with me. I am going to leave this on just for a second. So you guys could say goodbye. I'm going to uh, just be checking the chat. And uh, remember, if you have any DD you want to send, or if you have any good information on what's been going on with the uh, basically the margin calls and stuff, send that to me because I'm going to be I'm going to try to make a video tonight about that because I think it's, it'll be uh, it'll be a good one. All right. Uh, thank you all again. I will catch you all later. Have a great, 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 great night. I will be on Thursday morning uh, for a great stream. And uh, we'll see what happens, all right?